Journal 12, 2020 in Forge of Empires. As always, the journal reports about news around Forge of Empires. Today there are three topics again. Inno Games will shut down the Guild Forum on the beta server on September 23, 2020, and probably a little later on the Player Worlds. Even though the Guild Forum has not received much attention in many guilds, the notice is important for some to secure the content in time. The new message system is to take over this function, even if it does not yet provide all the functions of the Guild Forum, such as voting. In this context, InnoGames points out that messages will be deleted after 60 days, if they are not marked as important. So copy all relevant content of the Guild Forum into messages in time and mark them as important to keep them permanently. Inno Games deactivated the PvP arena on the beta server and EN and reactivated the known PvP towers of the province maps. It is emphasized that this is not a final deactivation and does not mean the end of the development of the PvP arena. 2400 mostly very critical comments on the new arena have probably given food for thought. It's good that InnoGames is rethinking the issue and allowing themselves the time needed to do so by deactivating it. The Gelata Tower will reject plunderers in the future. Through a quest series, new players get the necessary blueprints for this new age-independent great building. Advanced players will then receive blueprints through their contribution bonus. Once the 3x3 building is constructed in the city and has a road connection, plunderers are likely to be rejected if their attack was successful. The probability of this rejection increases with higher level of the building as well as the daily number of possible rejections. Attackers and defenders are informed about the rejection. In addition, the building supplies goods of the current age or from the modern age on unrefined goods. InnoGames thus addresses the probably worst possible balance theme of the game. Defenders had no chance against attackers. Many advantages, such as manual command of units, use of rogues, and effects from the Kraken, only benefited the attackers. So instead of balancing the theme appropriately, now comes the blocking of plunderers. At least I consider two effects as skillfully threaded. The building will bring new players additional goods of the current age and because many established players want to have the necessary blueprints, new players will surely get a lot of forge points from contributors which will help them to expand quickly. <laughs> 